The first time I ever played Bioshock, I never had experienced this level of drastic jumps in emotion while playing a game in my life. Awesome. I went from intrigue at the start, to Run. panic after the plane crash, to what? fear at the sight of the lighthouse, to engrossed at Andrew Ryan's opening welcome message for new visitors, to absolute oh. awe when the magnificent city of Rapture is surprisingly revealed to you, and then quickly back to shit your pants terrified once the curtain was fully lifted and revealed the supposed perfect city gone to absolute chaos, ruin, and left for death, except for the spine-chilling, insane yelling and nerve-wracking hiding and pouncing of all the addicted and mutilated residents. This all happens within the first 10 minutes or so. I was 15 when I first played this game, and even then, from those opening sequences and after conquering the horrors of Dr. Steinman's medical pavilion, I knew this game would be one of my favorites. And still, after replaying it multiple times and more recently on the excellent PS4 remaster, yeah, so what? The hacking minigame gets a little bit tiresome, even though I could argue that's kind of part of the point that you have to think about other ways of getting around the hacking. For the first attempt of a game like this, and for the attempt of world building, political and social commentary, and incredible storytelling through haunting audio diaries, it's just as fucking magnificent after nearly 10 years and hasn't aged nor stayed slightly irrelevant for as fast games have progressed since it first came out. At least in my opinion anyway. Let me tell you, there is nothing quite like turning off the quest arrow in Bioshock and just letting yourself loose in the exquisitely realised world of Rapture, and despite being otherworldly and ridiculous, in concept it still feels so real you can touch it. I know I've been going on a lot about atmosphere in this video series, but man, this game has one of the best. Every single thing, whether it be man or machine, is out to get you, and even some characters still relatively sane who help you on your quest can't fully be trusted and you feel at the mercy of not only the people around you but the dilapidating city itself. You feel hunted and out of your depth quite fucking literally. The second you step out of the first bathosphere and are tasked with saving the family of the man that is keeping you alive and helping you escape the city to get back to dry land after your plane crash. Wrapped around that is one of the greatest and ever expanding laws and side story world building that has ever existed in games, so much so that you never meet most of the characters you're listening into, but fuck do they feel like they're standing next to you. And it makes exploring each nook and cranny of the hellish Art Deco city that much more rewarding, along with finding essential crafting materials, genetic upgrades, and other goodies to help your way through the extremely balanced and thought-driving purchasing system, since you are never really that rich and things are expensive. The way the meta-narrative also worms its way into the gameplay mechanics, like with the things that you buy this stuff from, where you upgrade weapons, and even use the genetic upgrades and badass elemental plasmids to become a literal god is also extremely clever stuff and further deepens the already deep world created in Rapture. By the ending portions of the game you end up questioning a lot about video games and life itself. And you can't talk about any of this without mentioning the totally docile yet monstrous big daddies. An integral and tragic part of the plot but even as an enemy alone the hardest things to fight and also the most interesting to fight encouraging clever use of traps and antagonizing and luring rather than all out assault. The level design and many hidden secrets are marvellous for an FPS game and like I mentioned earlier, turning off that quest arrow I would say is compulsory to get the full effect of discovery and surprise as you play through and truly appreciate the effort gone into creating a world extremely memorable and somehow reflective to our own. Like how the shopping district is built with many multi-level, big wide open corridors twisting around each other, but with many vastly different shops branching off of them. And I also loved how every area you fight to survive your way through are dominated by a particular boss or just another character. And most of your quests and what you do are at the hands of these nutcases and ultimately completely out of control for you if you want to move on. They all just fucking own where they reside, and the highlight for me personally is with Sander Cohen in the theatre district, especially considering he's the only NPC not immediately intending to hurt you unless it's out of a spoiled and childish rage over his art. It's clear that you don't belong here, and it's clear that you mean nothing to these people, either a means to an end or something to end themselves, just because that's how the world of Rapture works, and it's so dripping in loneliness it's indescribable. Not to mention it's also deformed, gory and disturbing, but also glamorously irresistible with those graphics at the same time. And the twist, my god, my god, the twist. I will not say anything more, but even after like five or six replays of this game, that fine twist with revelation after revelation still blows my mind every time I play it. It sends chills down my spine and fills me with a primal rage that any game has yet to replicate, or at least replicate so well that it has the exact same effect on me when I first experienced it. Bioshock, in my humble opinion, is a first-person gaming masterpiece, and one that I cannot wholeheartedly recommend enough. And those remasters are worth the price alone just for the original game, let alone two other great ones alongside it. Yes, it's Bioshock. Shocking, I know. It makes me poo my britches so much that I need to wash my clothes off with lots of bio Shock. washing powder. And I'm gonna shut the fuck up now because I can't do puns.
Today's Pixel Empire announcement in the description below is one of another competition for one of you to win $100 worth of a gift card on the site for anything that you want. This is the last 24 hour competition of this entire video series, so please do act right now by heading into the description and following all the instructions. It's very simple once you head to the special website below and subscribe to myself and Pixel Empire newsletters to increase your chances to win. It, it makes sense. So yes, good luck for everybody. This is the last one that we're going to do, and until tomorrow, stay tuned and stay beautiful.